Hey, good afternoon, YouTube world. Um, today, I just wanted to provide a quick unboxing of the Lucy Solar string lights made by Empowered. This is, um, as you can see here, it's their warm white. Um, and a couple quick facts about it. It comes with a 18 foot cord, um, which means you could take this 18 foot cord and um, string it across any kind of um, area that you would like, but you got 18 feet worth of light. Um, it's also solar powered. Um, it can recharge by solar. It can also repower by, of course, a USB charger. Um, so you can just plug it right into an external battery if you got one. And then also you can see here, um, it comes with 10 individual nodes. Now these individual nodes themselves are uh, LEDs. So not just little white Christmas light bulbs or anything like that, but they're actually LEDs. So, um, you know, that'll tell you that your efficiency and longevity of the lights will be for a long time. Uh, also, um, the cord itself, as you can see here, uh, is like a flexible braided cord. So, uh, seems pretty durable and uh, means you could just basically take that, wrap it around anywhere you want, and uh, should be good to go. Another thing is um, it has uh, a water resistant rating of IPX4, so hopefully a little bit of rain won't hurt it, um, as I'm sure some people will be using this outside, of course. And then the, another thing is it does have a internal flashlight. So as you can see here, this, this little bulb right here is your internal flashlight. So you can use it as a flashlight or you can use it um, as a string light itself. Um, also, another good thing, uh, as you can see here, it has a battery level indicator. So of course, that'll help you identify how much juice you got left in your battery. Um, it comes with a USB input. So you can actually use it as an external battery itself. You can plug whatever you want into in there. Um, you can charge your phone, uh, whatever you need. Of course, I'm sure everybody knows what they could use. Now it does say it has a 20 hour single charge. Um, now you gotta understand that this does have three settings. So I don't know if that 20 hour charge is for low, medium, or high. I'm guessing that's, uh, of course, on the, the low low setting. So you got 20 hours there. Medium, high, I'm not sure what that would be, but um, maybe take a few hours off for each level. It does weigh, uh, let's see, 11.3 ounces, as you can see here. So not too heavy. The housing itself um, feels like a plastic covering. Um, so I wouldn't say it's drop durability is very high. I would say if you dropped it, it probably would crack. Um, and then also this container itself, you can see is like a pop-up storage container. So what will happen is you could take that, um, you twist it, it pops open, and that's where the cord is stored. And you can wrap it inside there, pop it back down, lock it, and you're good to go. Um, it does come with a one-year warranty. And of course, that's uh, manufacturer based. So if it's something that's wrong with it and it's manufacturer issue, they'll more than likely they'll probably replace it. As you know, all all companies are kind of going down that line where if something's wrong or you have a complaint, they'll replace it for you. Um, so we'll get started here with the unboxing. Uh, it just has this little piece of tape up top here, and let's see if we can get that cut. All right. Nothing fancy, I don't think. Um, nope. So it's just basically stored in this uh, cardboard container here. Got a little package in there. Um, not package, but some signage, USB port to charge other devices, as I talked about, USB plug to charge solar string lights. And you'll see here in a minute that this... Um, USB is one of those very thin um, type chargers. So um, you can thread the cord to the bottom notch. 
close unit as desired length. So what you could do is you can unravel it um, to however far you want. And then what you'll be able to do is unlock it or lock it in place to that that let that uh, that footage, and you'll be good to go. You see, that's the flashlight there itself. You got your USB port here, which is cool that they got the cover on there. Um, that probably helps keep it that water resistant. Got your power button, your battery level indicator. Let's see what happens when we press that. All right, almost a full charge. You got your solar panel. Uh, I couldn't tell you what kind it is. I didn't look that up, but probably nothing fantastic. I'm sure it'll take forever to charge as a lot of these little solar chargers do, but uh, and then you got some cordage here. That'll probably help you tie it up. You could probably put it on a um, carabiner lock or something along those lines and hang it up in a tree, hang it on a pole, whatever you need to do to get that sucker hung up. But so far, like I said, it's like a plastic container. Um, nothing, it's not aluminum or anything like that. So I would say if you drop this, it probably has a good chance of cracking, but hopefully that doesn't happen. So let's see what happens when you pop it open. All right, so there's your cord inside. There's your thin USB um, charger, port, whatever you wanna call it. And let's do a quick unraveling here, just to give you an idea how long it is and what the process is. And then I keep grabbing that. <laughs> So what do we got here? Looks like a the locking piece itself. That's interesting. Oh, almost lost it. Hmm. So I guess that helps. Um, I guess I guess lock it in place if you need to. Somehow. But anyways, keep unraveling here. And that's it. And I guess this is a notch here if you want to lock it. And that's it. Twist, turn, locks it in place. And you can see the cord itself is not bad. It's that um, flexible braided type cord you see on a lot of uh, power cords now. And there's your little nodes there with your LED lights inside each one. All right, um, so let's give this a test run here and maybe I can show you a quick um, idea of how bright the lights are themselves. So we'll just take our power button here. All right, so the first thing that comes on is your flashlight you know not the brightest flashlight in the world but it's a, it's a light <laughs> all right so there's your nodes lit up i believe that is the lowest setting medium and high and you can see it's got that nice uh warm white color warm white color excuse me there um not your really like high fluorescent led white out light but uh so this light here is one of the reasons i got it you can hang it up in the campground and in car camping or in a tent and it just won't be that super bright white light but the nice warm white and that's it so there's your three settings your flashlight your low your medium and your high but that's pretty much it um a couple reasons you might want to get this is uh like i already stayed at car camping um You'd probably hang it somewhere in your backyard if you wanted to. Definitely inside a tent. Um, and there's some overlanding people. That would probably be great for inside a vehicle at night or inside one of those pop-up tents. And then um, emergency lighting. So no electricity. You can, uh, you know, if it's charged and everything's running right, you can use this as your emergency lighting. You can hang it up somewhere in a room. Um, and that's pretty much it. 
I would say uh, when I first got it, it was on sale. That's the main one of the main reasons I got it is it because it was on sale. I, bas I got two of them, and it was basically two for the price of one. It was a um, oh I forget what sale it was, but I know right now the price is thirty nine ninety five on Amazon and forty four ninety five on the actual website. But they typically do have some sales, um, so I would keep looking for those sales. And I think the last thing here is um, when you purchase one of these, apparently they provide, I guess, funding or maybe even lights to um, people around the world that I guess are less fortunate. And uh, this, this helps give them light. So uh, that's pretty much all I got for you. Any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Um, and again, thanks for coming and watching.